Hello ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you're having an awesome day. Today we're going to be starting off with the area that we left off, which is uh, the Soviet installation. But first I want to take a look at the marketplace to see what the hell that's going on, because it shows 15. The gift contains free cards and credits that you can that you have received. Free cards and credits. Already on. Yeah, I already got all of these from the DLC for the season pass or the anniversary edition. Oh my Jesus. Okay. So these are the gifts that I got. So let's open those up. Grants unlimited fire arrows. Grants the Apex Predator outfit. And all skins from the Hunter, Brawler, and Survivor skill trees. Backfire enemies that land and merely attack have a chance of bursting into flame. Oh shit. <laughs> Grants the Apex Predator variation of the Hunter self -hit. Okay. Venom Hand Cannon grants stock Venom Hand Cannon, okay. Venom Hand Cannon 5 grants fully upgraded Venom Hand Cannon with Sight and Suppressor. Oh, what? Holy fire, enemies killed by melee attack explode, hurting and igniting any other enemies nearby. Oh, what? That's sick. Chicken Bomb. Drone chicken explode on impact. <laughs> Enemies more likely to drop rare loot. Okay, so what is what what are these? Is this for the game? Was that for the game? Like for the main game? Signal fire Molotov fire is burned for twice as long. Quiet killer equipped pistol and rifle are suppressed. Okay. Smoky duration of smoke clouds from smoke grenades extended. Two chests grants all enhancement tools and a large pool of resources. Well, that's kind of cheating. <laughs> grants dot wing shadow heavy pistol. I think we already have a wing shadow. Wing shadow five. That's everything on it. Spirit Weaver Master grants a Spirit Weaver outfit and all skins from the Hunter, Brawler, and Survivor skill trees. Okay, that's the Spirit Weaver. Bullet resistance decreases damage taken from bullets by 25%. We're not going to sell any of these shit. <laughs> Alright. Mercenary 2 grants all tier 1 and 2 skills from the Brawler and Survivor's Oops, excuse me, skill trees. Grants the Hope's Bastion armor and all skills from the Hunter, Brawler. Grants the Hope's Bastion variation. Lucky enemies more likely to drop rare loot. We already had that one. Enemies have large heads and take less body damage. I don't know if I like that one. No. But it says take less body damage. Expert 2. Grants all tier 1 and 2 skills from all 3 skill trees. Okay. Lara. I just pronounced Lara wrong. Or er, spelled Lara wrong. I thought it was a U in there. Laura Grant gains additional defense strength per kill up to 5 kills. Resets after 10 seconds. Okay. I do not know what any of this is, so uh, bear with me. Immortal Guardian Master grants the Immortal Guardian armor and all this goes from the Hunter. Immortal Guardian Hunter sense. Time slows when the bow is fully drawn. Lucky enemies. Time slows down near enemies that die to arrows. Stealth kills earn temporary invincibility. Hmm. 
Melee attacks have a chance of setting enemies on fire. I already have that. So Barry and Ranger attack. So what are these cards for? Scepter Nux. A Varian Ranger recurve bow. One life to live. Dying ends the replay immediately. No, I don't want that. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Bullets pass through enemies. Ooh, that sounds fun. Laura's head is huge. Don't think I'd want that one. No. Enemies have large heads and take less damage. We already have that one, so... Unless we can trade cards. Oh, that would be cool. Can we trade cards? Grants off tier 1 and tier... Okay, so this is pretty much... What's gonna, like, keep popping up. Not new or anything like that. White bow, widow, widow recurve bow. It's fully upgraded white widow recurve bow. Okay, that's cool. Bow master pack. I think I already got all the bows. Except for the main bow, if you know what I mean. Empty magazines start with no ammunition. Okay. Assault Rifle 3, Grants Assault Rifle with level 1 and 2 upgrades and slight attachment. Endless Magazine, Instant Reloading when Weapon Magazine is empty. Shadow Runner, Grants the Shadow Runner Outfit. Death's Breath 5, Grants Fully Upgraded Death's Breath Compound Bow, ooh, Bowmaster. Grants all bow upgrades, increased arrow damage and increased zoom. Blazing Inferno grants unlimited fire arrows. We already have that one, but we're gonna keep it. Grants the Shadow Runner. Okay, so that's the same thing, and then it's just saying that we get the Death Breath. Okay, this is. I don't know what these are for though. Is it for online or is it for? I don't think it's for online. Gas trap. Enemies have a chance of releasing a cloud of poison gas when they die. I don't know if that sounds cool or deadly. Uncorked. Enemies explode when killed with a headshot. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Enemies' corpse might explode when looted. Ooh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> you might have to not like, use that card. I'm uh, gonna have to remember that it's Gambler. Well read, grants all codex skills. Ooh, thank you. Blades of Glory. Equip shotgun is fully upgraded, and allows shotgun ammo pickups are incendiary bullets, but we don't have an equip shotgun. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna open all these. There's like 15 of them, so. I don't want this entire episode just to be opening this, so. At night, melee finishers on enemies replenishes health and hunger. Cane melee finishers grant a medium amount of food. Damage increases hunger. Wait, what? That sounds lame. Deep freeze warmth is lost at a slower steady rate and cannot be regained. Frostbite temporary drops more quickly with each day that passes. Small game hunter, small animal gives twice as much food. Conflict of interest, increased warmth from fire damage, significant warmth. Scavengered enemies have a chance of giving food when looted. Bloodless killing enemies grants a small amount of food. Ooh. So enemies can be like dudes. Night owl, time of day has no effect on cold, but hunger doubles at night. Oh, that's gonna suck. Hot blooded killing enemies grants a small amount of warmth. Okay. Now that's gonna be interesting to see. Bioneer Outfit Master grants the poison 
Pioneer outfit and all skills from the hunter, brawler, and survivor skill trees. Okay, so that's all skills. Dead of winter. Cannot freeze, cannot bandage, and hunger is increased. Regain health and hunger using melee finish reach on enemies. Don't know if I'd like that one, but who knows? Pioneer outfit. And say, and say to, and say, and say, whatever that word is. And say to, and say, whatever. <laughs> I'm having trouble. In Seda. Let's, let's just call it that. Hunger increases with each passing day. I don't know if I'd like that. Increase cold while bow is drawn. I don't know if I'd like that either. Rizio. Melee finishers grant a medium amount of warmth. Cold blooded. Deal additional damage. Deal additional damage when freezing. Okay. Rabbit malnutrition. Eating meat from small animals increases hunger. No, I can't sell this card. Oh no! <laughs> Get hungrier while swimming, but warmth is not affected. Okay. So how many more do we need? We only have a few more. So um, we're just gonna finish this and then we can get right into the game. This is gonna be a little bit longer episode. So only because of this baby yoga pack. Dream Stringer Five grants a fuller upgraded Dream Stringer bow. Worskin Master Grants a stock Dream Stinger bow Grants Baby Yoga's Wraith Skin outfit. I don't like that. No Valiant Explorer. Okay, so it says Grants granted me the outfit. Okay. Cold Darkness Pack. Bomb squad, extra infected grenade gears appearing during a swarm. We can take a look at we can't even sell that anyway. So super soldiers, infected soldiers cannot be killed with fire, poison, or explosive arrows. That sounds scary. Infections. Taking damage from the infected spreads the infection to Laura. Once infected kills keep you alive. <laughs> that sounds terrible. The survival instinct does not reveal possible answers in towers. Let's reveal all cards. Low battery. The flashlight occasionally flickers and goes out briefly. Unsupplied. There are no weapons to pick up. Why would I want that? Too late. There are no survivors to rescue. Why would I want that? The flashlight is like, whoa, man. Groovy. Very good. A resource chest have a chance of being equipped with an alarm that will ring when opened. Each effect of swarm lasts longer than the one that came before it. There are no resource chests to pick up. Tannery hero. Fear infected can be found when wandering. Okay, that's good. Because I wander a lot. <laughs> Classic gross. Infected can only be killed with headshots and finishers. Well, that's fucking lame. <laughs> Spark of life. The flashlight dims over time and brightens with kills. The perfect time the flashlight always goes out as the swarm begins. That's not cool. I think I might just leave this as its own episode. You know? I think I might. It makes a little bit more sense. How many cards is here? Damn, that's a lot of cards. Okay, Hailstorm 5 grants a Hailstorm machine pistol with all upgrades, suppressor, and steel in the site. Steel info. Infected adventure steal information from the camp. Collect mu munitions? Infected team raiders steal munitions for their remnant. Okay, rescue hostages. Infected survivor rescue the remnant hostages. Steal info. Okay. Rescue target strike. Antarctic uh, outfit master. Collect munitions three. Targeted strike. Classic. Classic Tomb Raider three skin. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so rescue hostage. So it's pretty much the same thing. Mansion Antarctica. Outfit. Or reimagined. 
classic Angel of Darkness. Oh, that's going to be cool. I like the Angel of Darkness one. I'm not going to read these ones because they're basically the same fucking thing. Darkness. Oh, that's a... Ah, that's silly. Recover Alex 3 infection. Enemies replaced with infected enemies. Okay, so I think we're just going in circles there. Okay, survival. Unless that's a huge ass pile of fucking cards. Clip all the cards. Adrenaline, stealth kills, earn temporary invincible. We already have that. Um, first aid, health regeneration is disabled. Use bandages to heal. I don't know if I'd like that. Half vampire melee kills instantly regenerate health, but bandages cannot be used. I don't know if I'd like that either. Banishing is faster and has a chance to not consume resources. There we are. Expedition jacket. Grants the expedition jacket. Oh, but okay. Meadows reward. Medic. Overcrafted. Increases blast radius for explosive arrows. Rifle minute. Corrupt rifle damage. Increased by 25%. Quiet killer. Equipped pistol and rifle are suppressed. One life to live. Okay, we already got all those. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to have that as its own little episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, stick around and then we will have the um, the main game up in a bit. So I just wanted to see what that was about. And I'm glad I did. I'm not sure what the hell that was all about. Hopefully it doesn't really affect anything in game. That's what I'm hoping. But it probably is. So I'm kind of iffy about it. But we're going to go in the game now. So I'll be seeing you guys there.